Good morning, students, and welcome back. Myself, Janish Shah, Assistant Professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. In today's lecture, we'll talk about that how can we insert a node at front position of the link disk? Fine, at the first position of the link disk. But before that, let me just summarize my previous lectures of link list that we, we have just seen till today that availability stack. Then, what do you mean by the link list? and how the linked list works as well as types of linked list we have seen okay and the now in availability stack i just want to tell you this is the last screen that we left in a previous lecture so what we need to do or what we have done over here i am just taking a new pointer okay and point it out on avail okay what is the first step in algorithm we should do is that to give the name to the nodes okay so you are here we are just assigning name to the nodes the first node which is called as top node of the availability stack and that node pointed by avail pointer okay so what do you mean by the avail okay avail is a availability of a top most pointer of ability stack so as we are assigning name to our nodes this is my avail Okay, after deleting the node or after fetching, see here what happened? We are just taking the node from the availability stack. Okay, so till now in stack or in queue for each and every insertion operation, what was the condition? Okay, what was the condition? Condition is to check overflow or not. Okay, fine. If if our data structure is overflow, then you cannot insert anything. But students. Here, linked list contains a dynamic memory allocation. Dynamic memory allocation, it means whenever you want something, you can fetch it from the memory and take, use it. You again fetch it from the memory and use it. So, there is no fixed size of the linked list. Okay, linked list is not a fixed size data structure. Whenever you want, you just take it from the empty space and uh, insert it in the linked list. Fine. So, here, overflow condition will never work out. But what happens here? Underflow is work out. Which underflow? Let me explain. The first thing is that see, see this. This is the animation. Okay, just focus on the animations of the screen. Okay, see here. This is the first thing. Okay, we are just assigning new pointer to the avail. Now, after assigning new name to avail, I'm just moving avail to down of the link of avail. Okay, the first step is new to avail. Second step is avail to link of avail. Okay, after doing this, after doing this, what happened? Now my link of avail and link of link of avail becomes new nodes. See, this is my wait for a minute. I'm just changing my blizzard pointer. Okay, fine. See, this is my avail, this is my link of avail, and this is my link of link of avail. So now avail is totally pointed to the second node. So you do know the stack is from which to which node? Okay. Stack is from one to top. Q length of Q is like length of Q is like front to rear. Front to rear. Okay. Like length of stack is like one to top according to algorithm. Same like that. Same like that. Length of link list. Length of link list is like first to null. First to null. Because first is the pointer which pointed to the first node of the list. And then Null is the last last node. Okay, last node of pointing to the null. So what I can what I mean to say, such like this, we can fix the size of the data structure. Okay, fine. Okay, or we can uh, assume that this is the length of data structure. Now what happened? What happened that? See, this is my new node, and this is my availability stack. Avail load. Avail pointer. Fine. So now first the stack uh, availability stack size is like this. And after moving avail pointer, it becomes this. So automatically, my new pointer or new node is cut out from the availability stack. So see, I'm just removing new pointer from here and put it over such like this. Okay. So link of new becomes null. This link of new becomes null and new pointing over here. So this is my new node. Now I can use it. Now I can use it. So same like this, if I am removing again. If I am removing again availability new node or fetching 
new node from the will be stacked and what happened if this is first avail over here removing no new node avail will become over here this position okay fine again removing node and take a new node avail will become here again i want to insert i am taking new node from the will be stack avail point to here this is the end of the list okay fine see i will be stack again i want something now avail point to null avail point to null now if i want to insert again if i want to insert again then what happen i again want to fetch from the availability stack now but avail points to null at the one point avail points here 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 and last is null now what happen if avail point to null okay fine so that's the thing that if avail pointing to null avail pointing to null that means availability stack is empty availability stack is empty see if i come inside the class and there is no chair in chair stack can you able to sit no same like that same like that if you have, you want to insert something if you want to insert something in link list okay you need node from the availability stack but right now if avail pointing to null avail pointing to null that means you have nothing you there is no space for the insertion that means availability stack is under flow that's a condition okay so let's begin with the first algorithm of insertion or link first of the link list now uh, here in each and every after insertion after each and every insertion what we are doing we are just returning returning address of first node of the list remember we are returning address of first node of the list okay that's a procedure okay so we are as we are returning something as we are returning something the algorithm becomes function written type of algorithm becomes function okay now the name of the algorithm is insert x x is a value and first is the address in which link list you want to insert so i want to insert in a link list whose first node address is first or first is a pointer which point into the first node of the list got it so this is the element x which we need to insert this is the first node pointer this is the first pointer which point into the first node of the list okay students what we are doing over here we need to insert element at the starting of the link list okay fine so let's begin see let me show this wait for a minute okay is this fine great see this is assume this is my link list okay now the first pointer pointed to the first node of the list and this link is pointing to null okay now again i am just saying what we need to do we just need to give name to the nodes which pointer pointing to this node first so name of this node is first fine and this is a link this is a pointer this is a link link of which node first that's why this link is known as link of first this link is known as link of first fine okay so let's begin what happens with the first thing see this is my availability stack this is avail let me okay fine so this is avail this is my availability stack what i need to do i need to fetch i need to fetch top most element okay from the availability stack and put it is put it over here put it over here because we need to insert at the first position of the link list okay fine so first thing at the underflow i earlier said that if you want to insert something in the link list first you need to check the underflow condition for availability stack fine if your availability stack is empty then you cannot insert in link list fine so if my when the availability stack is empty if my avail pointing to null right now avail pointing over here after that here after removing this here 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 and last avail will be pointing to the null fine so if my avail pointer pointing to null that means availability stack is empty so what you need to return you need to return first fine okay so next step is the assigning the new to avail see i want to remove avail i want to remove avail so i'm just removing avail over here but what is the name of this see i'm not gonna 
give name to this node i'm just taking avail over here okay if this is avail this is link of avail so i'm just assigning avail arrow link of avail then what is the name of this node do we have any name of our this node no because you have already moved avail to it down fine so that's why first we need to assign new to avail such like this new to avail so my obtain the address of next free node okay what is that step obtain the address of next free node so and to get the address of next free node first we need to assign new to avail first we need to assign new to avail that's why new pointing to avail okay new pointing to avail and then what you need to do now move forward new down make down avail to link of avail avail to link of avail so second step is this is link of avail see this is avail okay this node is avail so this node is link of avail this node is link of link of avail this node is link of link of link of avail fine so now what you need this avail pointer move new to down okay so if this is avail then you need to move it to down avail pointing to link of avail avail pointing to link of avail the second step will become avail gone it's pointing to link of avail and now this becomes okay fine avail pointing to link of avail so now avail is here this is new this is avail see first this is avail i am just pointing new to avail now avail will become down so this is new this is avail this is new this is avail got it fine so remove free node from the availability stack see sir why it is written like remove free node from the availability stack see whenever you move avail pointer to down that node is removing from the stack again i am repeating this step whenever you move avail pointer to down of down of the okay then it that first node that top node is removing from the stack why because stack is known as null to top null to top or one to top in link list it's known as null to avail already stack null to avail okay that's why this node has already been removed from the stack whenever you return avail arrow link of avail okay so students now we have a new node with us okay this becomes link of avail and the new node is here see this is my new node okay this node name of this node is new why because new is a pointer which pointing to this node now what is the link of this node do we have no okay fine so now the next thing initialize the fields of new node initialize the fields of new node okay see in algorithm we are considering two different fields usually i said that node contains two things how many things two things first one is first one is data okay and second one is a link first one is a data second one is a link in algorithm we called data as info okay so here node contains two things one is info second one is link info link info link data pointer data pointer fine so data is known as info and pointer is known as link got it so see this node contains two things this is this is the place where we stored our info and this is our link fine now what we need to do we just need to insert our new node after here see before the first node if this is my first node i want to insert my new node over here fine before the first node so see this is my first node so i am just replacing my new node over here please students in exam if you do not able to understand what we how to connect link of new node to where at that time you please draw the figure see i am just drawing this node again i am just putting my new node over here so i can easily get to understand okay now what to do the first field is info so first info of new info of new what we need to insert x so i just need to write info of new arrow x so x will be inserted over here see okay what i am writing info of new arrow x info of new that means data of new okay so i am just inserting x into the new clear 
So now the next step and very important step. See, this is the link, okay, of the of a new node. Now tell me, if I want to insert this node over here before this, so link of new node pointing to first node. Again, I'm saying this link should point to the first node. This link should point to the first node. Okay, such like this, such like this, we can connect to different nodes. Okay, this is my first node. If this is my first node, and this is my new node, link of new node should point to the first node. Okay, so what is this? This is new. What is this? This is new. The whole node is called as new. And this is link. Link of which node? New node. Link of which node? New node. That's why it's known as link of new. Link of new. And link of new should point to the this node. Okay. Now tell me, what is the name of this node? First. What is the name of this node? First. In link list, if you want to connect to a different node or if you want to do any operation on nodes, you have to assign them name. According to me, it is known as name. Fine. Name means you need to assign them pointers. If you have any one pointer which is called as name of that node. So name of this node, which pointer pointing to this node? First, which pointer pointing to this node? New. So name of this node is first, name of this node is new. Clear? What do you mean by name assigning? Fine. So I just need to connect the link of new node over here to the first. So my step becomes link of new arrow first. Link of new arrow first. Just remember that A arrow B, B arrow Q, who points to whom? Same situation working over here. Same like new arrow avail, avail arrow link of new, link of avail. What we need to write over here? Link of new arrow first. Link of new arrow first. Clear? Yeah. Okay. So, um, this link will be removed and connected like this. So this is link of new arrow to the first. Now, this link is connected with each other. See. Last node of the link pointing to the node. Now, from this figure, I earlier said that why we need function because we need to return something here. Okay, see in this algorithm, we are returning address of first node. Again, we are returning address of first node. We are returning address of first node. Now, tell me what is the first node? What is the first node after inserting? After insertion, what will be my first node? New. New, new is my first node. So what I should return? Return new. Again, again, in after insertion operation in link list, you have to return first node address. After inserting at the first position of the link list, my new node becomes first. That's why I need to write return new. Okay. After completing link of new arrow first, what do you need to write? Return new. Got it? Okay, so just watch the video of availability stack and this insertion of the first into link list two, three times. If you're not able to understand, then please feel free to ask me because this is very important part of the link list. If you can understand this, then you can easily understand each and every algorithm of link list. Fine. So just focus on availability stack, how we can remove the node, a new node from the availability stack how we can assign the new pointer, what is link of avail, what do you mean by link of link of avail, what is first, what is new, how can we connect link of new to the first. So these are the things which you need to understand. Okay, these are the lingos of the link list like info, link of new, x first, after insertion, we have to return new. Okay, just understand these points. Okay, so students, if you have any query in this lecture, then please feel free to ask me. I am always here to resolve your queries. Okay. Till that, please keep learning, keep sharing. Thank you so much.